The American landscape contains an enormous variety of bridges. Many are landmarks that have become synonymous with our cities and states and integrated into our daily lives. Hi, I'm Paula Hammond. I'm the Secretary of Transportation for Washington State. It was just a year ago when the Interstate 35 bridge in Minneapolis collapsed, waking up America to the fact that we can't take our infrastructure for granted. In Washington State, we have about 7,000 bridges that the cities, the county, and the state maintain, inspect, and take care of on a daily basis to make sure you can travel to and from work and home safely each time you travel. Now, our bridges in Washington State are in pretty good shape. In fact, Alaskan Way Viaduct and 520 are two of our most vulnerable and we've been investing quite a bit of money in the last several years to ensure that those bridges or their replacements will be able to serve the communities. I intend to continue to make it my mission to make sure that the legislature, our congressional delegation, and those in power understand the importance of making investments in our bridges and our roadways so that they can continue to serve our state well. Thank you. The official cause of the I-35 West Bridge collapse in Minneapolis has not been determined. Preliminary findings point to a design flaw and not deterioration or a lack of inspection. Bridge failures are extremely rare, with the majority occurring because of floods, earthquakes, or man-made events, such as a barge colliding with a bridge support. The reconstruction of the I-35 West Bridge is one of the most inspiring and ambitious projects in America today. The structure is being built to last a hundred years. Its design includes aesthetically pleasing bridge pier supports, native stone retaining walls, tin lanes for traffic, and accommodations for future light rail. This reconstruction project is restoring the confidence of an entire state. It also symbolizes America's future should we choose to invest in transportation. Hello, I'm John Horsley. You may not cross a bridge like the new Woodrow Wilson Bridge here in Washington every day, but you do cross many, both large and small. Sometimes we just take them for granted. Across the nation, state and local transportation agencies are struggling to keep our country's 600,000 bridges safe, sound, and fit for the future. The nation's bridges are at a turning point. Their average age is 45, and most are designed with lifespans of 50 years. This aging generation of bridges must be repaired and a new generation built to serve our future. A new Ashto publication, Bridging the Gap, points the way. Ashto calls its new report, Bridging the Gap, because it demonstrates the canyon between the bridges America has and those we need to rebuild between what we're investing in our bridges today and what we must invest for the future. Our bridges are safe, but of the nation's almost 600,000 bridges, almost one in four is in need of improvement and repair. There's a backlog of more than $62 billion in bridge repair needs, and that doesn't take into account the cost of new bridges Bridges are a lifeline, connecting people to home, work, and worship. They link commerce and customers, land overseas. On September 15, 2001, South Padre Island, Texas, lost its only connection to the mainland when a barge collided with a bridge support. Eight people died, and island businesses lost an estimated $87 million in sales during the two months the bridge closed for repairs. When bridges shut down, the ripple effects are enormous. Long detours increase traffic congestion and more air pollution. Meanwhile, the demand on our bridges is ever increasing. Many have become choke points on the country's freeway system, particularly at interchanges and major river crossings. The top 10 highway interchange bottlenecks cause an average of 1.5 million truck hours of delay each year. Meanwhile, construction costs keep soaring. 
the nation's departments of transportation face a frustrating contradiction. They have better engineering, materials, and construction techniques than ever before, ensuring a new generation of safe and long-lasting bridges can be built for the future. However, without a national will and a long-term commitment to bridge investment, states will face painful trade-offs to keep the nation's bridges safe and the American public and our economy moving forward into the future. If you'd like a copy of the Bridging the Gap report or to learn more about AASHTO, our reports and programs, visit transportation.org.